Hey everyone, this is T1PDX, and today, uh, no, this is not Minecraft, don't worry, 1.10 hasn't changed that much, um, this is, I do fight, no, this is Forge of Empires, and Forge of Empires <laughs> is really fun. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but... Okay, so... If you haven't played Forge of Empires before, basically the whole goal of it is, um... You start out with... Like, you're in the Stone Age, and... Um... You start to build houses, and then... You build some production buildings to, uh... Get up your materials and coins. And then you win battles to get these, uh, medals. And then you can get these gems as, like, an exclusive sort of thing. And then you have your people, you have your happiness, you have your global rank. And, yeah. Here, I'm just gonna change the name of this city. Uh, T-Bone PDX's, uh, YouTube... Oh man. Town. Sure, why not? Okay. T Bone PDX's town. <laughs> uh, I also have my army here. I'll probably do a fight in a bit. Um, I have my warriors, my horsemen, my slingers, my soldiers, um, and my, uh, yeah. So that's my army. Um, and then here's my town. I have all of my different residential areas, or residential buildings. Like these ones. All over here. Um, and then I have my uh, production buildings, which give me uh, materials, like goods. Like my marble and my lumber. Um, then uh, we have our production buildings, like these, which uh, produce our materials here. Uh, materials are used for building. Um, not actually going to produce any lumber. I do need lumber for something don't need stone. I do need a lot of dye. So we're going to make some of that. Oh yeah, and that's our town hall. Uh, these are our quests over here. Um, just like this. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Here's the map. Um, and it just shows... Oh my. It just shows the uh, provinces... That I've been to. Here's the one I uh, started in, and I kind of worked my way up here. This is the province that I'm trying to acquire. Um, I need to negotiate with this guy. Well, I don't need to. I can also fight him. Um, but in order to negotiate, I need these materials. Uh, so. I have an idea, let's uh, infiltrate this guy's sector, and then let's fight him. So, when you fight, uh, each person uh, kind of moves around, it's kind of like, I'm not sure what it's like, but it's fun. Um, I know what I was going to say, it's like toy soldiers kind of-ish. Not really. I mean, I guess a little. Uh, let's put this guy up here. You get a terrain defense if you're by terrain. Um, so these guys are more powerful than these guys. Although these guys are still pretty powerful. Uh, all of those guys are really powerful. Here, let's do auto battle, because I'm not very good at this. Ha ha. Oh yes. Oh no. 
Stab, stab, wham, pow. I think we're gonna win, but most of our guys are probably gonna Let's go to the results. Oh wow, that was quite the massacre on the battlefield there. So you yeah, it's the fight, you know, you gotta kind of risk a lot. And then, if you win, or if you lose, it's not really that worth it either way. Uh, it's only when you are, when you um, acquire a full sector, uh, when you get bonuses. Um, so then we can go to our military. And, yeah. Then here's our uh, guild expedition. I haven't um, done any guild expedition-ing in a while. Probably should, because it's pretty fun. Let's go our full army. This is going to be super easy. Yeah, let's just make it auto battle. And then let's watch. Horses move into position. The enemy troops form a small barricade. <laughs> Slinger takes a shot. It's a hit. <laughs> Horses go in but get knocked out. Slinger takes out another enemy. Another slinger weakens the enemy. Then the then the enemy goes for the slinger. The enemies are going for the slingers. They always come out. It's kind of rude because the slingers can't fight back. Hey, now we get. It. Yay! Now we do it again. Yay! Okay. auto battle honestly the horses aren't really that good like they're fast but they don't do as much nice damage and they have a really stab them and they die they're kinda taking a beating oof man that's going to be our last battle for a little bit, though, because I'm kind of dying a lot. What's it going to be? Aw, lame. Okay. So let's go back to our city. And, uh... Yeah, so this is the research tree. Uh, that's how you get into different ages. Uh, I'm still kind of a beginner. Uh, I got past the Stone Age. That's like the tutorial kind of stuff. And then, uh... Then you, uh, start getting into, um, the Bronze Age, which you kind of build up your skills, and then you get into the Iron Age. And that's where things start to go a little... You know, they start to get a little harder. Um... I'm trying to research agriculture and processions, but I need uh, lumber and dye for that. So, kind of a nightmare to get those materials, because they take a while, and they need these. Uh, huh. So I see the treasure chest is, wow, treasure chest gives pretty good rewards, um, to be <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's it, I just thought you might want to know what's, well, uh, what games I play in my free time. Um, I also play like Slither and Deep and all of that jazz, but. Um, just wanted to show this one to you guys, because it's kind of cool. Whoa, I'm hurting my eyes. I'm sorry, guys. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's fun, too. Um, I need that. And then we're making our die here, and then there's the market. 
you guys should really get this game. It's really great. It's uh, free on mobile, free on computer. I also have it on my uh, phone. I, uh, yeah. I play it um, pretty regularly. And it's super fun. So, yeah, I really suggest you get it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.